Hi everyone, uh, me again. Back with a uh, new camera, as I'm sure you, if you've seen uh, the latest video that I've done up here of Model Railway, um, at the bottom of the screen it became uh, blotchy, it would come up in square chunks and cut some of the images off. So I'm back with a new camcorder. Um, Alright, first off, as you can see in front of you, no, guess, no clues for guessing, Backman. Uh, this was actually purchased on Friday. Now, uh, here's an image of it. As you can tell, it's an A4 BR green. Now, uh, this model is not the Mallard, thankfully. I've already got three Mallards. Um, Alright, well, I'll just move this box out of the way. Here we are. It's actually named Gillimot. Very nice detail to it. Uh, there's the tender. Now, as you can see there, it's one of the old hook and hoop system that we're used to with some older trains. Uh, this is actually a DC model. Uh, this was uh, apparently made before digital came out. Uh, it should be fairly easy to convert though. Uh, hooked it up on the internet before it actually arrived. Or oh, before we actually picked it up, sorry, because I actually went and collected it. As you can see, what I mean by split chassis. You've got two metal blocks that screw together with a motor in the middle. Now the reason I say this looks fairly easy to convert to digital is because your motor pickups are there and your track pickups connect to the motor on either side, so one up to the top, one down to the bottom and then they actually connect to your pin at the back here they actually pick up from your trailing wheels so which means these are actually your pickups here and it's a little bit dark so what I'll do to see if it actually helps is put the uh, light on the camera on, there we go right, so as I was saying you've got your motor inside the split chassis your pickup on either end for your motor comes down connects to your trailing wheel either side so it's just a simple matter of either cutting the wires in half or just unplugging them from that side and soldering them sorry putting your track pickup wires for digital in and then your motor wires so I'm hoping to do that to get this on digital because well, I know quite a lot of people nowadays are into modern diesels but on digital obviously a, a better control system in my point of view to DC uh, and just watching a train run around at a nice slow steady speed if you're on um, DCC with a steam train hauling freight as A4s did run with freight now and then as well as passengers so watching the Conrods go around at a nice steady speed uh, what actually was in the packet. Now this was a used train. Apparently he's only used it a few times because he preferred the Hornby models. Is the name tags. Gillimot. Now these are your details that you'd have on the train just down here or at the back of the tender saying where the uh, locker was made. Now I've actually got a magnifying glass, looked at these as well as checked this number and apparently this train, the Guillemot was actually made in Doncaster not Crewe um, you also get these bags of details which as you can see is the driver and the caller uh, as you're aware the Hornby models uh, you get these inside, they're just black, the Backman ones are painted 
uh, quite nicely. Uh, you've got some other details in there. You've got your whistle that goes on the front of the loco. It'll just turn. Just pops in just about there. Uh, you've actually got your seats as well. Um, you've got your brake rods that go underneath that actually fit if you can just see in here I'll, if I'll, I'll zoom in on it and get the tripod to aim low enough so you've got your ooh bad focus you've got your brake rods here with your pins on either side they actually fit just in here on the inside obviously now you can fit them loosely or you if you're wanting them in permanently uh, I'd suggest the um, model glue cement whichever brand uh, well, has up to everyone's preference I use um, the Humbrol glues quite well it sticks quite solidly uh, if we zoom out again now what we'll do is I'll just pick this up and show you the inside of it now you have got some detail but it's unpainted uh, you've got these handrails as you can see that go on both sides so you've not just got Ooh. so you've not just got this handrail here you've actually got metal handrail at the top now if I can get it to sit the way I'm wanting it to sit to actually show the camera right now there's the number once again now what I was saying that the whistle fits is just in there just in that little hole in front of the double chimney I'll put this back onto the track and then I'll show you the uh, tender right, here we are with the tender BR green nice uh, solid heavy metal wheels tender does weigh a fair amount for a tender uh, we've got the handrails here we've got a nice bit of detailing in the middle here even a little bit of coal coming out uh, it's not your standard hook that you'd be used to, or your hoop that you'd be used to well, I'm not anyway but I suppose you could change it out for something else as it's only fixed in by a screw so you could possibly take that out, put another one in whatever way you'd wish to do it uh, we've got an old style coupling it's got actually a spring behind the hook so that actually helps adjust and take some of the pressure away now as a few of you will know um, the backman models quite a few years ago used to be called uh, mainline which I'm sure you've seen my uh, two mainline class 45s BR blue and BR green this is actually a coupling from the old mainline trains uh, there's a few detail parts that need to be fitted in there you've got your handrails here got your foot plates uh, sadly as it's an older model no sprung buffers but I suppose if you really wanted to you could actually take these out and try and fit your own but I'm not going to bother doing that because well model trains if it's not really broken why actually try and fix it you could possibly do more damage if you don't know what you're doing but if you do well, feel free to go ahead and do it
obviously. Um, the other thing, uh, zoom out again so the camera can focus on this a bit better. Been to uh, Maplin, <clears throat> or as you can see, strip board. What it is is brass on plastic. And uh, sorry for that barking, that's one of our dogs. And um, this is actually recommended on a website I was looking at. Um, that what you do is you can see that it's uh, got your lines going across, so you can actually cut it to what shape you wish or what size you wish. Um, and this was bought because instead of trying to fix wires to wires to convert to digital uh, you could put for say example your track pickup there so either your red or your black and then your decoder pickup for your uh, well your, your obviously track pickup for your local on that side so that you could actually solder to this board instead of trying to marry wires together and solder them or uh, actually did what I'd done with the class 56 was the electrical wiring tape which is got a piece right next to me to show you which is this which looks very unsightly I'm sure you'd agree around wires but you can put this on uh, solder your wires to it uh, I would recommend going to Maplin, they've got quite a lot of um, items. If you've not been, I'd recommend, as well, you can get this. They sell packs of uh, LED lights, uh, various colours, lots of wiring. They do heat shrink, toggle switches, uh, you can buy components to make up your own PCB board, everything else. So, I would recommend that. Uh, right. I'm just going to turn the camera off, uh, reposition it to show you the other thing that we uh, that I recently got. So I'll be back.